Hey there! This webinar is a continuation of the previous webinar titled Management Meetings from Status Updates to Strategic Discussions. As you may recall in that webinar, I introduced four variables by which we evaluate how effective a management meeting really is. And what I'm going to be doing in this webinar is focusing on the fourth variable, which is agenda focus. This relates specifically to the items we allow into the agenda just to make sure that we're actually discussing strategically valuable topics. So what I want to show you now are what are the four rules to actually allowing an item onto the agenda and then of course how to present that agenda to the rest of the management team. And after I show you these four rules, I'll actually give you an example. So the first rule is we need to frame the discussion with an appropriate title. And an appropriate title is something that makes it very clear what we're talking about, but also does it in a very creative way. The idea is to capture the imagination and the attention of the people sitting around the table. Nobody said that management meetings need to be boring. Number two, we have to be able to define the exact challenge that we want to address in this specific meeting when dealing with this specific agenda item. Number three, we must demonstrate how this agenda item is linked to one or more of the Northern Star pillars. If you recall, we spoke about how every Northern Star is a story of success, how that story of success is then broken down into pillars, and of course in this case we now want to make sure that whatever it is we're talking about, if we want to make sure it's strategic, is actually linked to one or more of these pillars. And finally, we have to set measurable targets for the discussion. How many times have you ended up spending 30, 40 minutes, even an hour, talking about leave alone for a minute that's an operational topic, but ending the conversation and saying, wait a minute, so, so what's the conclusion? Was this an effective discussion? Did we actually get what we wanted to get out of this discussion? So it's very, very important to set measurable targets. So let's take a look at what this looks like. The first thing we have to do is we have to come up with a title, right? So here's an example of a title, From Farming to Hunting. If you're in the world of sales, then you should already know pretty much what we're talking about. Farming is a term that's being used to discuss a sales strategy of constantly focusing our efforts on the existing accounts in order to generate more revenue from them. Hunting is usually when we allocate resources, time, and attention towards getting new accounts. Now, when I was running this session with a large international company, they were concerned that there was a mutually exclusive dynamic between a strategy of farming and a strategy of hunting. The salespeople basically said, we do not want to avert resources towards trying to get new customers because that's going to come at the expense of the existing customers and beyond the fact that it's going to affect our personal bonuses this year, it's also going to leave our company exposed because getting new customers takes time and in the meantime we've heard our revenue from the existing customers. So the person that was trying to promote this idea of we have to bring on new logos basically framed the discussion with the subtitle in the following way. And basically the question was how do we bring on new logos without sacrificing existing accounts? What makes this a strategic question is that it forces us towards a more creative approach to whatever strategy we're trying to adopt and it forces us to challenge whatever paradigms that are currently dictating how we make decisions and how we allocate resources. So this is step one and step two. Having a good title and having a subtitle that basically frames the challenge that we're going to try to overcome. Step number three has to do with linking to our Northern Star. So on the left I just took a few uh, pillars that I, uh, that I know that some management meetings that I've worked with uh, are part of their vision, like the net promoter score, the upsell rate, being an industry leader, being able to scale as a company, and of course employee satisfaction. So in this case, if these were the five pillars, I would then have to link whatever topic I'm talking about, for instance, the from farming to hunting, and show how <laughs> it relates to every one of these pillars. For instance, here we see it has very little to do with employee satisfaction and primarily relates to the industry leadership pillar and the net promoter score pillar. Now, it's not just enough to show this visually, you have to be ready to explain briefly why you gave each pillar the kind of scoring that you did with regards to this topic. Last but not least, we have to set discussion targets. We have to be very, very clear on why we're having this discussion or more like 
what would be a good end to this discussion? What are we hoping to achieve? And so, for instance, in this discussion, I'd like for us as a management team to begin by identifying the most likely geographic regions where we might succeed in bringing on new logos without sacrificing our existing accounts. And in doing so, I'd like us to identify the obstacles that each one of the regions we operate in uh, presents. And then, of course, I'd like to identify the opportunities in every region. For instance, if there's an upcoming event or if we have certain partnerships in place that might make a region uh, uh, more accessible to us. Here's one thing I want to walk away at the end of this meeting with answers to. Number two, I'd like us as a management team to discuss what we think is the profile of the most desirable new kind of company that we bring on board and again within whatever region we decided upon. I'd like us as a team to define the top three competitive differentiators with which we will instruct all our sales force to go out and try to get that type of client in the specific region we've determined. And finally, I'd like us to walk away with clear uh, ongoing action items that we want to take on ourselves until we talk about this agenda item again, let's say in four to six weeks. So here I've defined clearly what are the discussion targets. Now, is there a chance that after 45 minutes we won't get through all of them? Yes, that could happen. And if it does happen, at least we'll know where we stopped and then we can have this discussion again and pick up from where we left off. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you now better understand how to make sure that when you're adding an item to the agenda of a management meeting, it is in fact strategic enough to, be, to warrant the time and attention of the leadership team. And if you actually use this model to have all agenda items presented in this format, you will find that you are constantly reinforcing the management team's focus on the vision and on its pillars. And in that way, enhancing the whole strategic orientation, not only of these meetings, but also the general predisposition of these managers even after they go back to their respective units. Good luck.